Hi guys, welcome back from my channel. My face is feeling hella dry, so I'm not gonna waste no time. How quaint. I'm actually wearing my pinchme.com shirt. Um, this video is not sponsored, let me go on and say this. I don't remember if I won, I believe I won this shirt for free. I don't know, I'll leave it down. I don't remember, I think I won this for free, but I had this shirt for a while. Um, they gave me this shirt, one of their shirts, and on the back it says pinchme.com. But I was like... I should wear the shirt since I am going to be doing reviewing pinch me products so this is what the box looks like um, I threw out one of the boxes but I didn't know I was gonna get both products because the thing is long story short they sent me a couple of surveys and like if you qualify for that specific product based on your answers they'll send you out um, something so I thought I wasn't gonna get anything because it, it has been weeks but then I remember they said it might take weeks to get the product so anyway I got one and then the next day or two I got the other product so I was like this is perfect to review both of them at the same time so I'm gonna be doing like a comparison between both products but once again this is pinch me if you want the full like detailed version of what pinch me is how it works, all that. I have an old, old, old video about it, and I'll leave it at the end of this video for you guys to check out, but I don't want to make this about what is pinching and all that stuff. So, they gave me two products to test out, and both boxes, although I threw out one box, they have the same thing. So, it says, your exclusive product trial starts now. C keep an eye out for a follow email from Pinch Me. So, yeah, it's just a little card. Now, I have not used Pinch Me as often as I used to like so so I really just do the, pr the product trials now if I the surveys because it's pretty easy to get us to get a thing whereas the sample boxes require more work and yeah yeah but anyway so the two things that I got the first they're both serums so this is going to be a two-in-one video I'm going to be testing out both um the first one is the inky list hyaluronic acid and it's face serum um, I'll probably leave all the, like, important things, like, as far as what it does and everything on the screen. I'll type it out for you guys. But pretty much, just to give you a quick thing, it's supposed to hydrate skin, um, reduce fine lines, and you can use it in the morning and the afternoon and after. So you basically apply this first before you, and then you put your moisturizer. So let me show, I'm just going to open up the box and show you guys what it looks like. Because I honestly wanted to get rid of these boxes. I'm not trying to get rid of it. So it's pretty small. Like I said, it's a sample. So this is what it is. The inky list. And then the next thing I got was the Olay Serums. And it's the Tone Perfection Serum. And it says B3 Plus and Vitamin C. And it's the same thing. Cleanse your face and apply the serum and then moisturize. So same steps. And this is what the Olay Tone Perfection Serum looks like. Now, I will say this. So this specific serum is $7.99. So this is the more inexpensive serum. And then this one is the Olay. The Olay one is $28.99. So we're going to see. I'm going to put this one on this side and this one on this side. And we're going to see which one is like is the more expensive one worth it or should i just stick with the or is this worth it either way i got them for free so i'm going to use both of them but i want to see like if this is which one is better so like i said i'm going to start with the inky um list hyaluronic acid and yeah i don't want to spill this so this one is not um creamy it's pretty liquidy I don't want to spill it so it's clear liquid it's nothing like so that's gonna go on this side um smell it really doesn't have any smell it's pretty bland so nothing to just gonna do this half of my face nothing to like you know it feels nice on my face I will say that um it's really lightweight that's what I feel I don't feel like because it there are some serums that I've had that is pretty, like, um, heavy, which I guess is good for the winter, but you also don't want it to be too, too thick, I feel like, because you're just applying so much products. So, yeah. So, this one is definitely lightweight, the Inky List, and it feels nice and hydrating. So, now that we're going to do the Olay Serum. Oh, I'm supposed to apply it to my neck, too. Hold on. 
It also said that for this one. So let me apply some to my neck. I, I never apply anything to my neck, to be honest, but I'm going to do it today. It's the same feeling. Okay. Now to the Olay one. So what's different about this one, it's not like the one where you just drip it. It has, which I usually like for my serums to have, it's like, it has the, what do you call this? The applicator, I guess you would call it. So you can basically control how much you put on your face. Um, the, the substance, the substance, the consistency of this is pretty similar. It's liquidy as well. Why is nothing coming out? Okay, I'm just going to put some more. Yeah, so it's liquidy as well. The only difference is it's also clear, but it has a little whitish color to it. So, hmm. Okay. So, hmm. I don't know. This one, okay, this one is also like watery, but I feel like this one is a little more thicker. That's what it is. Because when I apply it, I don't feel like it's just, um right there it's a little more that it needs to go on for me to really yes this one so it's not as lightweight it's still watery in terms of consistency it's not as thick but it's definitely thicker um so yeah oh the smell of this let's see no, my hands smell like um cocoa butter so i can't really uh this one also doesn't really have a smell it's just um thing and i forgot to tell you guys what this one is for so this it's supposed to it doesn't really say too much it's just supposed to give your skin a healthy glow so um i can't even see my face right now so when i edit this uh because i don't have a mirror on me now that i have a new setup but let me know what you guys think. Like I said, um, I feel like they both will do the job. I generally don't really need the $30 moisturizer unless it's going to do something extra bomb for me. Um, but the one, like I said, this one, the Ole one is more thicker. and A little thicker, but it's still lightweight. Whereas, okay, I did the Ole on this side. Whereas the um, Inky List is definitely lightweight and it doesn't require too much. But I'm going to go ahead and put my moisturizer now. And I've changed the moisturizer that I'm using because the other one I finished. I'm done with it. And I've been using the um, 100. Well, I'm going to do another video on the, what I'm using now, my updated skincare routine. But anyway, it's the Shea Moisture 100% version coconut oil face hydration and face lotion. And it's supposed to soften and restore skin. And this is what it looks like. And the reason why I wanted to use this one is because I feel like now that... Like, first, for one, I was breaking out really bad. Now I kind of controlled it, but, like, I got some confused here. Like, I don't know what's going on. I have to do a mask tonight. I haven't been doing my mask anyway. But with that, um, I feel like this, though, I've seen a change in my face. And at night, oh, let me not tell you everything I use. Let's wait for the video. But, yeah, so I changed, switched up my products, um, basically, because it was, anyway, I was done with my face wash and stuff. So I switched out to products that will help my skin um basically now in terms of what my skin is looking like so that's what i always like to do i like to cater um pick products basically that cater to what my skin how my skin is feeling and how it's looking so if i'm breaking out i'm naturally going to break out um products that are focuses on acne and blemishes to help um do that but yeah i don't know i can't really tell <clears throat> so what I will say is now that I've applied my moisturizer, I feel like this side is a little more, um, not heavy, but the application feels a little more, I don't know how to explain it. Whereas this one, it was kind of like, doesn't feel too, like I applied too much. I don't know. But maybe when we edit, when I edit this, I'll see the difference, but let me let me know if you guys see a difference between the two serums to me. Like I said, they're pretty much the same. The only difference is, to me, what I notice is the Olay feels a little more thicker in consistency when I apply it. Whereas the um, Inky List is not. 
anyway make sure you like you comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys oh and before i forget hit the notification bell and check out my last skincare video i probably put my last skincare video and the pinch me what is pinch me video up in the up in the end screen bye